The celebration of Passover is being celebrated by members of the Jewish community. It began on March 27th and will culminate this Sunday, April 4th. I'm pleased to be joined now by Dan Cardonic, who is the executive director of the Scranton Jewish Community Center. Dan, thanks for joining us. Can you please explain to our viewers who may not be familiar with Passover what it does signify? Um, Passover is one of the, the bigger holidays on the Jewish calendar. Uh, it's an eight-day holiday that marks the Jewish journey from enslavement to freedom as the Israelites departed ancient Egypt. Uh, it comes straight from Jewish law, from the Torah, uh, where we're commanded to retell the story of this exodus from Egypt after God unleashed a, a series of plagues on the Egyptians. Um, Jews observe Passover with many rituals. Family will come together and have a Seder, which is the Hebrew word for order. And we'll retell the story with symbols that we put on a Seder plate. And there's about six items total. Uh, a couple examples include bitter herbs, which represents the bitterness of slavery. And usually we use horseradish as, as that symbol. And there's also parsley that we dip in salt water that represents the tears of slaves. So those are just a, just a couple examples of, of some of the, the symbols that we, that we use on a Seder plate to help tell the story. We also tell the story, retell the story using a text called a Haggadah. Um, and that's a, a book that everyone receives at the Seder table. And we refer to various texts as we tell the story of Passover. Um, another important tradition that we have is that we remove sort of all 11 leavened foods uh, from the house. Um, usually these are grains, primarily grains. And we abstain from them during the eight day holiday. Uh, and in, in substitution, you know, we'll eat a flattened, unrisen bread called matzah. It's like a really thin cracker, you know, that, uh, that tastes pretty good. Um, and the symb symbolism is that the Jews were in such a rush to leave Egypt that they didn't have time for their bread to rise. So they ate unleavened bread. So, so while we remember sort of the bitterness of slavery um, and, and some of the, what would say some of the sad uh, events that happened um, during, in ancient Egypt during Passover, it also is a time for Jews to celebrate and to be joyous um, as we're celebrating freedom. So one of the ways that as part of the Seder uh, is that we consider ourselves reclining by having cups of wine. So there's usually four cups of wine that are part of the, of, of, of the telling of the story of, of the Seder. And we will, we will recline during the, during the Seder and we will drink wine. So, and this year, you know, obviously because of the pandemic and, and even last year, many families weren't able to get together um, in, 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 they weren't able to get together with their extended family. So, so alternative ideas had to, had to be brought to the table and what became very popular over the course of the, the last year is a virtual Zoom Seder in which families will, will connect with other families from across the country or, or from other households and they would do a Seder together via Zoom. And everybody would show their, their different symbols on the Seder plate and their cups of wine and their uh, and the Haggadah. And they would actually tell the story together virtually while sitting at their Seder tables. So that's become a very popular option uh, given the pandemic. And I'm sure we'll see a lot of that happen this year in our Jewish community. That's great that families can still be together and still celebrate together like that, thanks to <laughs> good old Zoom here. Um, yep. Now, I know that it will be uh, culminating on Sunday. Uh, are the last few days uh, any more significant than the earlier days of Passover? On the first two days and last two days of Passover, those are the traditional days during the eight-day holiday that families will hold seders. More will hold them on the first two days than they will on the last two days, but last two days also is a is a popular uh, a, a time to also hold hold a Seder. And those are, are the days that we're commanded not to work. And, and so you will find that many Jewish um, agencies uh, will be closed on those days, uh, including including ours, the JCC. And you'll also find that that some of, of the Jewish people won't also won't work on those days. They will take those days as a holiday um, in respect of the holiday. And uh, let me wish everybody a Chag Pesach Sameach, which is Hebrew for happy Passover. As we're celebrating uh, the Jewish journey from enslavement to freedom. Thank you so much. Thank Same. you. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. 
Today's news feature is brought to you by Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant on Wyoming Street in Hazleton. Stop by Friday and Saturday nights for all-you-can-eat crab legs starting at 5 p.m. Also, check out Frankie's new hours and their specials on their Facebook page.